Uncle Fred, I finally found him. My little boy, I'm glad to see you. And you're wearing the suit I made you. But how can you be here? I said that I found the suit in his workshop and that I came looking for him. I'm sorry for being away for so long. But I've been busy down here, you see. The frog people, that was an experiment of mine. Do you remember the eggs I found before? I sent them here by accident, and I had to follow. By the time I got here, they were already growing. These caves were empty before, but my experiment has made them full of life. I have conducted research on them and documented everything about them. And I built a new crystal-powered pad to be able to get back to my colleagues, show them how fantastic this all is. I interrupted Fred and told him about Maddie, how we came all the way to Starhaven together and that I had promised to ask him if he would go see her there. Madeline. My little Maddie. I, I should have taken her to see Starhaven long ago. She was always so curious about the strays. I left her. I wanted to protect her. Or rather, protect myself from losing her. I've changed my mind. I'm not going home. What does research or praise matter when I can be here with these creatures? They need me. And it's just as well. I don't trust this pad for more than one ride anyway. You need that ride. I didn't want to go home. And I asked if I could stay with him and Maddie instead. I'm sorry, nephew. As much as I enjoy having you here, you must go home. Explore the world on your own. Have your own adventures. I reluctantly agreed to go home. I was going to miss my uncle. I will miss you too. But I'm sure you'll do phenomenal on your own. And don't worry about me or Maddie. You'll be fine. The pad is yours, boy. When you're ready.